it's all about the feeling right now because uh, some riders had like uh, I think 15 or 20, 25 races behind them and I can still count them on my two hands. Every races you do, it's always experiences coming. started look at Marco Delago just rocking it out of the gate down goes Pavel Klintrup Bart van Rusmalen goes around the outside edge Derek Wedge sitting in third place Marco Delago holy smokes oh look at this down goes von Rusmalen here comes Derek Wedge Marco Delago goes down Derek Wedge around the outside oh Derek Wedge is going to win his first ever ice cross down the I think, no, I'm sure it's coming from the ski freestyle because, uh, like I said before, I'm a ski teacher and more precisely, I'm a freestyle teacher. I'm working in snow parks, so I'm teaching, I'm coaching the youngs on the jumps every day of my ski season, so I do a lot of them as well. So that's why I think I've got a certain feeling when I do my, um, my I jump over the models and I'm feeling better. Uh, when I can jump it, I prefer as absorbing it. I don't know why, but for me, it's my tactic. and. Uh, yeah, I like to be in the air more than on the ice. <laughs> of the gate with the Proxall boys shoulder to shoulder and Wedge trailing again. Everyone in this one tight together but Wedge was really struggling losing his footing three times and hitting the boards in the corkscrew section. He dominated this heat winning his last race ever. Scott Proxall gets second and in a monumental effort Eric Wedge gets third ahead of Kyle Proxall. I don't have enough words to explain what I mean. It's just crazy. I think I need two or three weeks to realize. It's, it's unbelievable. So thanks to everyone for everything. Yeah!